This is our life. Mm -hmm. This is what we've created for ourselves. These are the decisions that we've made. So it's a couple weekend. We've left the kids home and I've got Mrs. Jalo just over there. We've just driven from Canberra to, where are we? Malua Bay. We are staying in a boat. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Now we've stayed in other abodes before, but they're, <laughs> act, they're not this nice. Um, the is not like this. Yeah, the, sure. the last one we stayed in, um, Saffron literally said, "Now nah, we need to leave tonight," <laughs> even though we had like two more days on our <laughs> um, on our stay. Yep. Saffron was like, "Nah, that's it. Um, I'm leaving." So and we actually left. And we left. We yeah. And we left because we were like, "All right." Yeah. In fairness, though, we have been homeless for the last. 10 weeks yeah because we did eight weeks in brisbane with your family it's because we were living with your family we didn't have our own home and then we had done a week in a really nice like penthouse apartment with a pool mm -hmm. and a gym and then we were in some dingy hotel <laughs> so she had had enough yeah she said, nope i need my own bedroom so we left and um mm -hmm. that night we packed up everything and went to the place and mm -hmm. i don't even think it was like warm or anything no nope, we didn't have a sofa have do you know all we nothing. had was we went and bought beds that day that's all yeah, we had was it. beds yeah and that was it <laughs> Clean so, up fridge yeah. microwave nothing um, did Just we have bed. we had pizza on the floor or on something floor. like that we every had house we pizza. move into the first night we have pizza on the floor that's our tradition mm -hmm. yeah once we, when we move somewhere new we'll get pizza we sit on the floor on cardboard and we'll have our dinner Mm. Yeah. I like that tradition. Mm. I think we're going to go and explore to get some food. We're right on the beach. Yeah. We're we'll literally, our hotel is here and the beach is there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the ambience is nice. Like, I feel comfortable. Very nice vibe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It feels clean and yeah, mm -hmm. nice. It's quite big. Yeah, it's huge. It's really big. Would have been great if we would have got the table, just two tables down, because that's table 11, which is our favourite number. But. And it's not our favourite number because it's a um, popular thing now. That's been our number because we got together on December 11th, 1996. And we've been doing it Bandwagon for 24 time. years. You know what I mean? Is it 24? Nah, shame. Hmm? I think it's more than 24. Probably is more than 24, Ruth. You know, my math is not that great. I haven't had a fizzy drink in about 15 years, I reckon. Mm. When she says 15, years, she, what she means is she hasn't had her own one whole thing. Yeah. I haven't ordered a fizzy people. drink, but I've sipped yours to be like, yeah. oh, that's nice. Or... She's had other people's fizzy drinks for the past 15 years. Yeah, but only a sip. Only a sip. Like after di and after dinner. So after dinner, if your mouth is stale after your food, then I'll be like, oh, let me have a little bit of yours. And I'm like, yeah, it feels like a pudding. So it's not Coke, is it? Yeah, Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi. Well, I was going to say, what's the difference? But there's a huge difference, Pepsi and Coke. Happy birthday. Cheers. This reminds me of, remember when we first came to Canberra for your interview and we went to that Italian restaurant? Oh, yeah. That's what this reminds me of. Oh. Mm hmm mm. That smells nice. Yeah. It smells good. It smells good. Mm. It smells like a child made. We're being adventurous. Let's go to the beach. Beach, let's get out of the way. No, so what? The? Oh, it's nice. Yeah. We're, so literally, our hotel is there, and then the beach is here. I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, we won't go too far in. Yeah. You can see the outline of my face. Look. That's crazy, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my God, that's bad. It's really nice though. I reckon it's going to be peak in the morning. Yeah. We'll go for a run on the beach tomorrow. We'll be yeah. like Baywatch. Look at that, look. Mm -hmm. That's a trip hazard. Mm -hmm. Workplace health and safety, look. <laughs> 
Where's your, where's your health and safety officer? That's what happened to you the last time, innit? You got stabbed up. Ahmed? Mm -hmm. Can you not relive my trauma for me? No, I won't. So Why do I'm... I look like a ghost? Because of the oh. lights, too. Oh, what is that? I uh, know, right? Do yeah, you uh, give it a 7 out of 10? Yeah. Yeah, no, probably give it like the same. Yeah. That the chain of customer service was nice. It was really nice, yeah. The, the satay thing was nice. They said this coffee bar opens at 8 o'clock tomorrow. So we'll be down here. Hopefully they do tea. Coffee. And then the lady said that there's extra stuff here in reception. We need extra tea and coffee, or extra towels and stuff. Which is good. Oh, okay. Turn off the lights. Ah, Safe environment. Is it number one? Two. Two. We are thinking of maybe going here tomorrow. Doors open. Doors open. So for you then? Yeah. Right. For you then, tomorrow is definitely a long walk in the morning. We're going to do a sunrise walk, okay? Sunrise walk. Okay. And then um, from the sunrise walk, we'll come back and see what's happening with them. Um, the arts festival thing. Yeah, I'm so full up though. Even though I'm saying I'd give the food mm. a seven out of ten, <laughs> higher enough to be full up. So this is um what day one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. and yeah, um, day one. That's our travel day. <laughs> We're now ready for the morning, early morning sunrise walk. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just helping. Good night, but I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to the early morning sunrise beach walk. Mm -hmm. Nah. <coughs> <laughs> you were joking me. Last night you would have seen that we went out for dinner, which was nice. Tried to see the beach, didn't see much. So we're going to go for a bit of a sunrise walk this morning to go um, see the beach, um, grab some coffees, then we'll come back and get ready for the day. And um, we will take you along with us for today's adventures. I'm really excited about today. It's, the, it's our full day here, so I'm excited about kind of what we get up to. still out and the sun looks like it's about to rise from the sky. We came down yesterday but uh, it was so dark we actually couldn't see anything. <laughs> Ruth's frolicking, she's frolicking! Oh <laughs> <laughs> they feel like assicles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, those views are amazing. How lucky are we? This place actually existed at the same time. It was like it almost stretched out. <laughs> Look at this clown here. <laughs> the waves just back there grew like up to maybe six six feet. Um, we couldn't get them unfortunately, but it's almost like the sun was pushing the waves forward and then they just rose up. Uh, it was only for about 20 seconds and then they would just died down again so and now they've started coming again so it's just yeah nature is amazing can you imagine mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy isn't it uh, this is our life it is. like deep that for a minute this is our life like we're not on holiday we haven't come to visit somebody we're not watching this on tv this is our life that's mad Grateful. Hashtag grateful. Gratitude. Do you know what I mean? Han mm. Hashtag manifestation. <laughs> probably, I don't know, it just probably sounds so silly, but this is our life. Mm. This is what we've created for ourselves. These are the decisions that we've made. That's crazy. Yeah, no, like, right. not, not gassing it. It makes, does make me emotional. Yeah. That's wild. Think about that hostel in Clapham. Yeah. 
you know what I mean? Prostitute next door, drug dealer upstairs. Imagine that roof. Uh -huh. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, makes me emotional. <laughs> Plenty of times we could have made a decision for that moment, yeah. for the short term money, for the thousand dollars in the pocket, hold this for me, yeah. put that in your flat for me. Thousand dollars, yeah, that would have helped, thousand pounds, that would have helped pay the rent, mm. feed Saffron, buy our university books, all of that, that quick no, we said no, no to everything because we're, we're not about that life. Yeah. And I genuinely, whether you're a hippie or not, without getting too emotional, whether you're a hippie or not, I genuinely believe because we made those choices, that's why we've been blessed now. Mm. We made the right choices at the tough time and showed our values and our character that whether you believe in God, the universe or whatever, your abundance now comes later because you sacrificed in that moment what you needed to sacrifice and made the tough decisions in that moment because they were the right decisions to now have abundance. And it's not about materialistic things. Like we're on the beach watching the sunrise. There's nobody on the beach. We mm. have had a whole beach to ourselves to watch a... Oh, there's two people over there. Ah. Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> I was on a roll. Do you know what I mean though? No, no. It's The sentiment's still the same really. And I'm, I'm so grateful, like I really am, because our lives could have ended up different. We could have been a different set of statistics. Growing up in care, yeah. single parent household, mm. teenage parents, mm -hmm. council estate, all of those stereotypes yeah. um, and we just smashed it. Uh, and I genuinely think I wouldn't be here if I hadn't gone on that journey with you. I think it's the concoction of us being together oh. as well that's made it work. Just past nine o'clock we're going to get ourselves something to eat um, did you lock the car? Did I lock the car? Of course I locked the car. We're going to a cafe about 10 minutes from where we're staying. It's called, was it crumb? Bre bread crumb? Bread crumb? Something crumb? Something to do with a crumb. <laughs> Crushy so. crumb. Ruth, she sees something pretty, she goes and takes a picture. We discovered something awesome, <laughs> and Ruth said, Yeah, let's go sit in. Oh, she, oh, I could go sit in it, so she's not gonna sit in it, I'm gonna sit in it, and then she's gonna take a picture. Look. It's a hut. It's a small little hut. Look at it. And the thing is, it's got no string or anything. What if it collapses for me though? I'll save your life. I'll yeah? give you map to help me station. Okay, cool. Great shade, covers you from the elements. So if you're looking for a new house, get one of those. Uh, costs nothing. Costs nothing, you just find yourself some sticks and put it all together. I heard there's a brown aerial decided to go exploring. We don't know where we're going, but we're just going to go see what's happening anyway. I love how you let me go first. Ladies first, innit? So we're now in Mogo. It's a small town, about 10 minutes away from where we're staying. We went to a couple of shops. Uh, one of them was Willow Earth. Very, very good vibe. Loving Mogo so far. Good morning, it's our final day. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. When we stay away, usually uh, we don't like hanging around for some reason. So we wake up, we pack everything and then we're gone. Um, Want to get home early so we can go get ourselves ready for tomorrow. Yeah, for the week ahead. I like that. Pack your bags, whatever you need for work and spend some time with the, the kids. We're going to get our steps in this morning. Yeah. Close um, our exercise ring before we go eat. Before we go eat. 
Yeah? Yeah. All right. Online. Uh, I thought it was after, but yeah, mm -hmm. we're going to go close our exercise rings, mm -hmm. then go eat. You earn then your food go home. before you receive it. Really? Mm -hmm. No, no, I'd eat and then. Burn it off. Then burn it off, yeah. But I guess that makes sense. The joys of an af having an athlete's body, hey? <laughs> Some of us don't have that luxury. <laughs> no, <laughs> do it how you normally do it. You buy the whole thing. No, you're, you're not, the, when you eat a strawberry, it's not supposed to be one bite. <sighs> it's not bite size. <sighs> it is bite size. It's not, it's halfway. This is bite size. It's, <laughs> look, it's halfway. Well, you eat that bit. No, it's a waste of time. Mm. Mm. Stage two is the best bit, yeah. and then you nibble. That's a waste of time. That's getting <laughs> <laughs> strawberry juice all over my lips. I don't want that. I just, it's just one bite. It's done. I don't even like this strawberry. I know. That's sour. Exactly. So you don't want to be prolonging it and making it. <laughs> and you're not the hamster. No, no, there's watermelon juice all over my lips. Birds decided to poop on the new car, which is uh, amazing, I guess. So we're now in Bateman's Bay. We've parked about two, two k's away, so that's at least four k um, in the morning. So look what we just found. Uh, Down below, if you know what it is. I think forty and below. Comment. Let us know if you know what that is. Life. 